Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to BetaNex. Today we are diving into a crucial topic that can significantly enhance your Excel skills. Excel conditional logic. Specifically, we'll cover the if and or not functions for logical testing. These functions are powerful tools that can make your data analysis more dynamic and insightful. Before we move forward, I would like to tell you that BetaNex is offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you'll be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's start with if function. The if function allows you to make logical comparisons between a value and what you expect. So an if statement can have two results. The first result is if your comparison is true. The second if your comparison is false. Now let's see an example using chart GPT. As you can see, here is an example. So we have a table with the student name, exam score. So here we have pass or fail. So here is a if statement. If the marks are greater than or equals to 70, pass, not means fail. If marks are greater than or equals to 70, then pass or fail. Same thing. Okay. So this example, we'll check exam score in column B is greater than or equals to 70. If it is true, the function returns pass. Otherwise, it returns fail. So let's copy this thing and we'll see how it works. As you can see, I've copied the table here in our Excel sheet. So you can see Sarah got failed and Mitchell got failed. So their score is 45 and 60. So with our condition, if they get more than or equals to 70, then only they'll pass, not means they'll fail. Now, let's take a moment to talk about something important. A is taking over the world in such a short span of time. We have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI and whatnot. You don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well, AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will. If you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our two-hour Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop, in which we will teach you about the best AI Tools top skill, increase your productivity, and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now. Alright, let's get back to our Excel conditional logic. Next, let's talk about the AND function. The AND function is used to check multiple conditions at the same time. All conditions must be true for AND to return true. If any condition is false, AND returns false. Now let's see an example using ChatGPT. As you can see, we got the output. 
So here is the same thing. Here we have a student name in our first column, then exam score. After that, we have attendance. So we are calculating performance. So in this example, we are using AND function to check if both conditions are true. If exam score in column B is greater than 80 and student attended all classes in column C. If both conditions are true, the function returns excellent. Otherwise, it returns good. Again, you can drag this formula down to apply it to multiple rows in Excel. So let's copy the table to our Excel sheet. As you can see, I've copied the table to our Excel sheet. So let's see the formula. Here, as you can see, we got excellent because the student name John had uh, scored more than 80 and has attendance. So that's why he got excellent. First of all, it will check if the exam score is greater than 80 or not. Then it will see in the column C uh, we have S yes or not. If both the conditions are done, then we'll get excellent. If not, we'll get good. So same thing. For Sarah and Mitchell, we got good. And for the rest of them, we got excellent. Moving on to the OR function, which is similar to AND, but with a key difference. OR returns true if any of the conditions are true. It only returns false if all conditions are false. Now let's see an example using ChatGPT. As you can see, we got the output. So, here we have different table. Here we have a employee name in our first column. Then years of experience in second column. And in third column, we have position. So, here is a eligibility. So, in this example, we are using OR function to check if either of the conditions is true if the years of experience in column B is greater than 5 or the position in column C is manager if either condition is true the function returns eligible otherwise it returns not eligible so let's copy this table to our excel sheet as you can see I have copied the table to our excel sheet so, for example, employee name is John and years of experience is 3. And the position you worked as associate. And let's check the eligibility. So, is not eligible. So, uh, in any of these conditions, one should be uh, true. So, first condition is experience should be greater than 5. So, it's not true in this scenario and uh, position should be manager and this one is also not true. That's why we got not eligible. And now, let's discuss the not function. The not function oversees the value of its argument. If the argument is true, not returns false and vice versa. This can be particularly useful for toggling logical values. Now let's see an example using ChatGPT. As you can see, we got the output. So here is an example. So we have our student data. On first column, we have student name and in second column, we have exam score and past status in the last column. 
So in this example, we are using NOT function to check if the exam scores in column B is not greater than or equals to 70. If the score is not greater than or equals to 70, the function returns did not pass. Otherwise, it returns passed. So, the output we are getting is the same as we compare it with if function. Okay? Here, we just used if function, but here, along with if function, we are using not function. Okay? Now, let's copy the table to our Excel sheet. As you can see, I have copied the table to our Excel sheet. For example, here you can see student name is John and he scored exam marks 75. So, uh, basically, the score should be greater than or equals to 70. That means he is passed. So, we got the output as passed. That's correct. So, here you can see here we are using NOT function and here is a condition. So, the score should be greater than or equal to 70. And so, if we have used just if function, we used to get this output, did not pass. But here, we are using NOT function, that's why we got output passed. Okay. And that's it for this video. To summarize, the if and or and not functions are essential tools for logical testing in Excel. They help you create dynamic and conditional statements that make your data analysis more robust and insightful. If you found this video helpful, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Also, do check out our workshop link in the description. We'll see you there. Thank you.